tool in general was created uh, because we wanted to automate the process of doing hazardous area classification to larger studies. It's a very tedious process to do it correctly and to do it with hand and you know putting it on a drawing is just not efficient. So we decided to automate that process and during that automation we've learned a lot. We've kept up with the software of almost 15 years now and developed it and added things to it. Within the software itself, it's like a lot of capabilities. You can take pictures, you can document any deficiencies that you may see. Uh, you can define exactly, you know, what class and groups and divisions uh, of the materials it's designed for. Uh, and then once all that is done, uh, it will generate a gap report where you can have a very good database of your electrical and, equip and instrumentation equipment uh, that meets or does not meet the area classification. There are a lot of companies that have and do uh, hazardous area classification, even right now. Uh, and it's not that they're doing it incorrectly. They're they are meeting the intent of the standard. What Hack Tool does is two things. It makes it more efficient and it is more detailed. So you can draw a box around the unit and, and it is a correct classification. It may be class one, division two, that is perfectly fine. But by doing that, by putting a box around it, what you're missing out is there are areas within that unit that you could have easily put general purpose equipment, which now you are required to put classified equipment. What that does is adds cost, adds complexity, and adds maintenance to the life cycle of the, of the equipment. By using this more efficient point source technique that Hack Tool has and doing it efficiently and doing it quickly, you have a contour which is much more robust that you can use and use it both for your cost savings and also for reducing your maintenance headache over the, over the plant life cycle. What the software does, it allows us to draw hazardous area classification contours, uh, both in 2D as well as 3D. So why 3D, right? I mean, it's uh, it, all the drawings that you see primarily being passed around are all in 2D. Um, the importance of hazardous area classification in 3D is because you have light fixtures, you have electrical equipment, instrumentation, all at different elevations and they all need to have their own classification. So if you don't consider the elevation piece, you're definitely missing out a lot of it. And to convey that in a way that's easier for vendors, for end users, as well as for um, you know, uh, equipment providers, it's, it's very difficult. But if you provide them a, you know, a software and maybe even a viewer tool that you can see in 3D, then you have the full picture of what the hazardous area classification looks. Uh, and you can plan your, um, your equipment, you can plan where your panels are gonna go, what equipment you need to buy. And also you can plan how to reduce cost, right? Because you can determine, hey, I need to be uh, 20 feet away from this vessel. Uh, and so I can easily determine and say, I am now in a general uh, purpose or a class unclassified area. And so now I can put a general purpose panel there. So it, it has some huge advantages of, uh, of doing this properly and then doing it in 3D. Well, first of all, we're gonna do a, a demonstration video so that folks are familiar with what Hack Tool is and, and how they can use it. When we have the actual release, at that time, the software will be available for a demonstration version to be downloaded uh, for seven days period that uh, you know folks can play around with. The software is going to be available to uh, to procure from our website, pakerisk.com, and uh, it can be in annual license terms or six months, three months, six months, twelve months. Uh, licenses will be available, uh, and then um, you know extend it as you need.